Number four then from the second paper of the 2016 Higher Maths. There we go. Circles question, seven marks. And it's a particularly easy little one. You're given the equations of two circles, one in the translated form, one in the expanded form. And for four marks, you have simply to say what's the centre, what's the radius of the first one, what's the centre, what's the radius of the second one. And of course, if you can't remember what they mean, in the formulas at the front, it shows you the two forms of them and tells you how to identify the centre and the radius given either of the forms. So let the marks pour in the page. So if I use C1, if I borrow the term C1 to stand actually for the centre of the first one, it's simply what's being subtracted. X minus what, so that's a negative 5. Y minus what, that's a 6. There's a mark. Equals R squared, it said. Well, that means R must be the square root of 9. I'll call that R1. So that means that R1 is 3. There's another mark. Now, in this form, all that's happened is that's been expanded. So those numbers have been doubled in this case. So what's the centre of the second one? Well, what's being subtracted but half it? It's a 6, half that, that's a 3. But notice there's no y term. So I don't need to half that and make it negative. That's simply 3, 0. There's a mark. The last mark takes just a little bit of calculation. If you look at the front, it would say g squared plus f squared minus c. But of course, g and f are just the x and y coordinates of the centre. OK, opposite signs, but you're squaring, so it makes no difference. So you can just as easily use them. Square the centre and take away the number at the end. So that's the square root of 9 plus 16, the square root of 25. That means R2 is 5. There's the fourth mark. Now for part B. For three marks, show that C1 and C2, that means the two circles, don't intersect. Well, if you've got a circle like this, and another one touches it here, like that, then for the circles to touch, to be tangents to each other, the distance between their centres, I'll call that C1, C2, must be the same as the radius plus the radius. Move that closer and they'll intersect, but then the distance between the centres will be less than the radius plus the radius. So if you move it further away, so they don't intersect, that means the distance between the centres must be greater than the radius plus the radius. So that's what you have to demonstrate in this question. They won't intersect if the distance between the centres is more than the sum of the radii. Well, it's easy to get the sum of the radii, that's 3 and 5, that's 8. But how far apart are they? You can almost just look at them. X-coordinates, I've got a difference of 8. Y-coordinates, I've got a difference of 6, so they're 10 apart. 10 is more than 8, so they certainly are apart, but you have to demonstrate that, I suppose. But there's just one mark for each of them. So, C1, C2. What's the distance from C1 to C2? I'll just set it all out. 3 take away negative 5. And square that for the difference in the x's. 0 take away 6 and square that for the difference in the y's. Even though you can see you're heading for 10. And then I can just jump straight in with... I'll just leave that as 8 squared. 8 squared, and OK, that's negative 6 squared. But I think you can safely see after that, that's going to come to 100, so this is going to be 10. And stating that the distance between the centres is 10 units gets a mark. Now, obviously, the sum of the radii comes to 3 plus 5, which is 8. That gets a mark. Now, you get the last mark just for making a numerical comparison, but they seem to be letting you away with just comparing the numbers 10 and 8 in an obvious way. 8 is less than 10, even if you don't know the significance. 10 is greater than 8, even if you don't know the significance, and then say, so the circles don't intersect. If you've taken the time to actually give, and give them names, then you could say this. You could say, since the distance between the centres is greater than the sum of the radii, the circles do not intersect. Or just using these terms... Since C1 plus C2 is greater than R1 plus R2, which just abbreviates for the distance between the centres is greater than some of the radii, and it's OK making this numerical comparison because those have got established values here. But they're saying you could just simply say 10 is greater than 8, or 8 is less than 10. 
Since that's the case, that means the circles do not intersect, and there's the final mark for the numerical comparison and the statement. But you'd have to have a numerical comparison, you can't just leave it as 10 and 8 and then make the statement the circles don't intersect.